Don't you worry on that account, miss. If it weren't for this, I'd still be here for one reason or another. Got lots of tasks on my to-do list, you know. These parts give me the impression of a place that's in dire need of a couple heroes running around in it, if you get my meaning. It's a lovely forest, especially for adventures testing their metal. <laughs> in fact, when your brother approached me, I was already picking up to collect... Oh, uh, looks like she fell asleep. I guess I should probably let her rest. No more talking for tonight, Thomas. A lot of herbs around here. I wonder if I could still get some good ones before we leave. Would love to be able to take care of two birds with one stone. It's a lovely night for once. I wonder if they can see the moon back home. Don't think I've ever seen any difference between the moon and shores keep in this one. But it's probably... Ah! Who goes? I'm so silly. It, it's just you. I'm sorry. I didn't recognize you in this darkness. Hello again. Wait, wait. Don't leave. It's me, Thomas. Sir Thomas. You remember, don't you? You helped me get out of a trap some time ago? Well, I'm glad to see that you remember. Uh, that sounded suspiciously like an insult there. What? Oh, the girl. Don't mind her. She's sleeping right now, so I'm trying not to wake her. She's from the village. She got a wee bit lost picking flowers, and her brother hired me to come find her. But, uh, it got late, so we're making camp rather than going in this wilderness. Well, he was just a young wee one. It wouldn't have been safe for him to come out here himself. You would know. You've seen what kind of monsters lurk around here. No offence. Hey, why don't you come out of the shadows now? You can warm yourself by the fire if you want. Only, don't make too much noise is all. Dangerous? Her? What kind of humans do you have back in your homeland anyway? I mean, I got being anxious around me at first, what with my daring night prowess and all. Okay, well I still had a sword. Well, if your people are feuding with the humans in your area, I guess that makes sense why you'd be a bit nervous. Okay, okay then. Not nervous, just cautious. But I promise you, it isn't so bad out here. And that girl in particular wouldn't hurt a fly. So come on. I have food. There you go. Make yourself at home. Try some of the stew. I made it myself. It's rabbit and a couple of other things. Should still be hot. Don't mind me moving around. I've got some herbs to gather up before we go back to the village. The doctor in the village gave me a list, you see. They're running low on supplies with all the refugees coming in through the area lately. A big shame, that. It wouldn't be as big a problem if it's not for all the bugs and poisonous water in the marches. But there's no getting rid of it, and these people, aren't these people who aren't accustomed to the environment have to pass right through it to get to... Hmm? The marches. That's the border between Dead Willow Stride and Elrissiv. Don't you know it? You had to have come through there when you were fleeing your own home, too. Oh, yeah. I guess your people could well have different names for everything. There's been some kind of a political conflict, so a lot of Elrissian refugees are fleeing north these days. They get sick or even poisoned in the marches, and then they have to stop here for treatment. It's getting a bit more than this little province can handle. But I'm doing my best to help out. Got a nice bag full of leeches last time I came round. Tricky things, leeches. You've got to make sure that you're wearing protective gear while harvesting them, I've found. I fell into the water at first, and a couple of them grabbed right onto me, and then... Then it was the worst... 
Well, uh, never mind. Enough about myself. How have you been in the meantime, Dweller? I see you're looking a little worse for wear since I saw you last. Haven't been getting into trouble, have you? Oh, and how about your quest? Are you getting any closer to getting help to retaking your homeland? Oh. So, what have you been up to then? Spider folk, huh? I've kept clear of that lot. I'm not awfully fond of spiders as it is. Hungry spider humans might be a little too much for me to handle. Especially all together like that. Although I like to hope that, having human intelligence, they might be more willing to listen to reason than regular spiders. You met with them then. What do you think? Were they reasonable? Oh, that sounds a bit... That sounds a bit unreasonable of them. Why exactly did you seek them out again? I know spiders can be good hunters and all, but I wouldn't think they'd make a good army. A dragon asked you to? You, you should have opened with that. You met a dragon here? In these woods? What does sort of mean? Say, you... you didn't approach a dragon just because of what I said before, did you? I wasn't thinking that there was actually a dragon around here. I can see you weren't eaten up, or at least if it did eat you, it looks like it spat you back out. But I'd still hate it if my advice led you into danger. Well, if it was just an accident on your part, that's alright. Or... Or, not alright, but at least I'm not responsible, yeah? So how did it go? Were you eaten? You do look like someone who got chewed on. Wait, that didn't come out right. I just meant your clothes. Well, you look less... You look fine. It's more of a... Oops. Gotta be careful. The poor thing needs to sleep. Speaking of which, if you're tired too, I do have an extra bedroll. I would be using it, but sleep doesn't come easily to me, so I'd rather keep watch. No? I guess someone with eyes like yours would get around fine at night, yeah. Does that mean you usually sleep during the day, or are you one of those people that never sleep? That always baffled me. But I guess I'm not one to judge. Anyway, if sleep isn't on the cards for us both right now, would you like to stay and keep me company? No getting poisoned by spider folk with me around, right? Well, I like you. I get the feeling that you're a good listener. That's all. Yes, I do have a lot to say. Thank you, I think. That was a compliment, wasn't it? Speaking of thanks, you know, I never got to properly thank you for helping me out before. Want to head back with me to the village? I know you're still busy with trying to save your home, but that's probably going to take you a while, you know? Wars aren't won overnight, I'm afraid. Now don't get me wrong, you seem capable. I just wanted to... Well, to be frank, I'm pretty concerned. Have been since we parted ways last. It's not your fault or anything. You just set off a couple of my alarm bells. For instance, since this forest isn't your original home, do you actually have a place to stay out here? Any people who are sheltering you? Keeping the bees' nests out of your hair and everything? You, you look like you're trying to say no. Is the answer no? Hmm. I don't want to be pushy, but I think you'd be a wee bit better off taking care of the basics before you start moving on to a quest like that. Get a roof over your head, a good supply of food, that sort of thing. Especially since you've eaten up almost all of my stew over the time that we've been talking, and you weren't very demure about it either. 
You either have bad manners or you haven't been eating much. I guess you could just have bad manners. Look, I'm just saying, maybe my way of saying thanks for earlier could be to help you take care of those basic things. I've been doing favours for people all across this province. I know a lot of them now. If you follow us back to the village, I could probably get you set up. Oh, if you're worried about going into a human area, there are a lot of monster folk. That is, creatures like yourself, running about as well. Well, they aren't exactly like you, mind. Actually, I just realised I still don't know what you are. You never said, and it's hard to tell by your features alone. Like, did you have a human parent, or some other creature as a parent? Or is this just what your species is... like? You're glaring at me again. Uh, sorry. But, you know what I mean. There's plenty of friendly, not humans mixed in. Nothing like the... The monsters out here who just want to eat travellers for their supper. The spider folk and the giants and and the water nymphs who tried to drown me when I was collecting leeches. No, not to mention the other night I heard howling out here from what might have been a very vicious wolf. Uh, so, so, so as I was saying, everyone's more used to them than everyone's more used to them than they probably are where you live. Does that ease your mind a bit? Oh, it doesn't... I'm sorry. You're talking a bit fast for me with that accent, but I think I get you. I'm confused, though. If you still don't like human settlements, why would you want to stay with me? You think I clearly need the protection... What is that supposed to mean? I've been doing just fine adventuring by myself. I'm clearly still alive, you know. I was able to hold my breath for almost a minute while I escaped those nymphs. A alarm bells? Don't throw that back at me. Alarm bells indeed. Ah, uh, right, right. Sorry, don't want to wake the girl. But it's settled then. Once we're all up and around, we'll head back together. Great. Whether you think you need to protect me or not, I'll do my best to help you. In the meantime, I must admit, I'm pretty curious about exactly what happened with the dragon and spider folk. Would you care to share the story with me? At least until the girl's awake? Excellent. I'm all ears now. I'll try not to interrupt. Mostly. <laughs>